What's going on guys? My name is Captain Michael Sharkey Marquez. I'm a professional fishing guide out of Galveston, Texas. And today we're gonna to be talking about my top five favorite bait rigs. We're gonna talk about how to rig them, how to fish them, and the benefits of each. Popping corks are great to use for beginners because they're easy to cast and it's a visual fish strike versus a field-based fish strike. I like to use popping corks when fishing in the upper water column. This is one of my favorite rigs to use when targeting big speckled trout. A popping cork is easy to rig because it comes standard with two swivels. One swivel is located at the top of the cork for you to tie your main line directly onto, and the other swivel is located on the bottom of the cork. This is where you're gonna attach your fluorocarbon leader. One of the great things about using a popping cork is that you're able to change the length of your leader depending on the different water depths as well as the different species of fish that you're targeting. I like to finish this popping cork rig set up with a size six treble hook. That is the perfect size to be able to catch a wide variety of species. Popping corks are designed to attract fish by sound. To give it that good sound we're looking for, you're gonna reel the slack out of your line and pull back to give it a good popping motion in the water. I like to repeat this step every 30 seconds. That ensures that my live bait is looking real good in the water and getting the sound it needs to attract those big predatorial fish. A chatter weight is similar to a popping cork as it creates a sound in the water which sounds like injured fish or a school of bait fish. I like using chatter weights when fishing a larger styled live bait such as live croaker. Chatter weights are easy to rig. You're gonna take one side and tie it directly onto your main line and take the other side and tie about 14 to 16 inches of 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. To finish it all up, I like to use a size one knot kale hook which seems to be the perfect size hook for all around live bait fishing. Once I cast out my live croaker and it hits the water, I like to let it sit for about three to five seconds. That's gonna allow my live bait to settle down into the water column. After that, it's time to put that chatter weight to work. I'll then do three to four rapid and aggressive pops. That's gonna radiate that sound under the water and call in those predatory fish. I then let it sit for about 10 to 15 seconds and repeat this step until I get the strike I'm looking for. The Carolina rig is one of the most well-known live bait rigs around. It's great for fishing the bottom water column and allows that predatorial fish to pick up the bait and freely swim with it without feeling any resistance from the fisherman. To set up a Carolina rig, you typically use an egg sinker weight. I prefer to use a half ounce, but that weight varies depending on the strength of the current. Once your egg sinker is attached to your main line, you're gonna go ahead and tie a 30 to 40 pound barrel swivel. That's gonna actually stop the weight from sliding onto your main leader. From there, I like to use 14 to 16 inches of 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. To wrap up the Carolina rig, I'll use a size six treble hook for my smaller live baits and a size one knot kale hook for my larger live baits. Once I cast my Carolina rig out, I let it sink all the way to the bottom. I keep that bait in place for a good 45 seconds to a minute. After 45 seconds to a minute of your bait sitting in the same place, if you don't get the strike you're looking for, go ahead and reel it in a few feet across the ocean floor. That's gonna move your bait into new territories where there might be other predatorial fish lurking around. I use a split shot rig when I'm looking to present that bait and give it the most natural presentation possible. This comes in extra handy when targeting super finicky species such as speckled trout, snook, pompano, or Spanish mackerel. You only need four easy items to set up a split shot rig. Number one is gonna be a barrel swivel. You're gonna tie that directly to your main line. After that, you're gonna use 12 to 14 inches of fluorocarbon leader. We're gonna go light with this leader just to add into that natural presentation. So I like to stick around 15 to 20 pounds with that style leader. From there, we're gonna go extra small with the treble hook. We're gonna bump it up from a size six to a size eight. That's gonna give us the perfect hook set, but also allow that bait to float right in that upper water column exactly where we want it. Lastly, you're gonna attach your split shot weight to your fluorocarbon leader. I prefer to attach it halfway between the main swivel and my hook. A split shot rig can be extremely difficult to cast, so always be sure to have heavier weight for the beginners that might need a little extra help getting that bait out there. 
So once you cast your split shot rig out into the water, it's very important to sit back and let the bait do its work. Keep a close eye on your main line because sometimes you'll actually see the bite before you feel the bite. Now my absolute favorite bait fishing rig is the knocker rig. The knocker rig is an amazing rig to use when fishing heavy structure. If you get snagged on something, whether it be a tree, rocks, a dock, it doesn't matter. You simply reach up, grab your main line, pull it back like a bow and arrow, and release it. What it's gonna do is send a vibration down your main line, which will bring up that egg sinker weight and slam it right back down directly onto the top of your hook. That will then unattach itself to whatever structure you're stuck on and free your tackle. To set up your knocker rig, you're gonna take a 40 pound barrel swivel and tie it directly to your main line. You're then gonna use 12 to 14 inches of 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon leader and tie that on the bottom side of the swivel. I like to start off by using a half ounce egg sinker weight, but I will have in my tackle box a quarter ounce all the way up to an ounce, depending on if the current is slack or aggressive where I'm fishing. Once your egg sinker is attached to your fluorocarbon leader, you're gonna finish up the rig with a size one aught kale hook. When fishing a knocker rig, you wanna cast that setup as close to the structure as possible. You're gonna let it sink all the way down to the very bottom and keep that slack out of your line ready for a bite. Every 30 seconds, you're gonna give yourself a half turn on the reel. That's gonna ensure that you keep all the slack out of your line and you're ready for that big fish to strike. For more videos like these, be sure to like and subscribe. To catch more Monster Fish, visit us at academy.com or your local Academy Sports and Outdoors.